College down at uh, Rocks Tech at Fort Schuyler. You see it right uh, as you pass through with everybody Tech. from power boats to sailboats and like your hybrid a cross between your polyester resin and your pocket. You weave as you would have in uh, clothing. You have it and it's going to be able to be relatively strong. What will happen is we'll apply a, uh, a releasing agent and and that the water can crack on the concrete. If you put this epoxy barrier coat on it, that will really solution. give you well, more. Here's the solution. That's how you got to do it. Well, I can't afford that. Well, you have to throw it away. You have to cut it. You have to destroy it. Otherwise, you know, we have a, have a warehouse water. there. So as soon as the lead get in front of the kill, it's going to pull out and back of the kill, start to push it back toward the inside the boat. A couple of things it does. You push the fiberglass up. It laminates itself from the fire, what the balsa would look like. And uh, this is not the yard to one quarter. So the thickness is so little. This is thick. It is, we come back, remove the vacuum back. We fill up all this cavity or by axle or only directional, or you don't want to sand it. If you sand it, it's really rough. So we make the mold, and how we make those molds? It's easy, you can buy it. Just grab the masking tape, put it on the top of it. I'm ready. Let okay. it sit for another half an hour. That's your paint. They are very, very soft paint. So as soon as you do 